Our project is called Art in Prison. It is a collaboration with the, um, Department, the Colorado State Department of Corrections. We have created a series of workshops that we will be kicking off at the Denver Women's Correctional Facility in January. Our hope is that these workshops will change behavior, but also help them with you know, self-awareness, um, with self-respect, and also we're hoping that it would give them some type of um, um, respite from um, you know, the day-to-day -day, um, reality of being incarcerated. Well, we believe that art matters. Art really gives people a voice and a different way of communicating than um, other more common things that may be available to them. Th these art workshops are intended really to be a creative outlet, as Amis shared, and an opportunity for them to share their experiences and their stories, both with each other and also with their family and friends who are outside of the prison. So the artwork that will be produced will all be sent out by the, the offenders who participate in the workshops to family and friends. And we also have built in a, an exhibit of the work that will be held at the prison as well as at the Art Students League where we'll be inviting the, the offenders, family, and friends to see the work. I was in conversation with some, some of the staff members from the Department of Corrections about the power of art and why art matters, and they shared that there's been a, an initiative through at the Colorado State Department of Corrections level to try to bring in educational opportunities to offenders in the variety of settings that they have. And so together we sat down and talked about what that might look like, and we chose the Denver Women's Correctional Facility to start because it's closer to our main facility and we figured that transportation for our faculty might be one of the barriers to having successful workshops. So if we could start in a location that was closer to Denver, it might give us an opportunity to work out all the hiccups. And if things go well, the goal is to expand it into some of the other facilities throughout the state, both the juvenile facility and also a male facility.